Welcome to Premium Beat. My name is Rubidium. Now that our phones are full of robocalls, text messages are one of the main ways that people communicate. As art imitates life, text messages have made their way onto films and TV, which presents a problem for filmmakers. How to show a text message exchange in a way that doesn't bore the audience. The first way that this has been tried and is still used today is to shoot the phone itself. This is the way that a lot of filmmakers have also shown emails when they have to. You can double down and maybe have the character also read out the text if you're making a film where the audience might have trouble reading, a kids film for instance or an action movie. The problem is that this slows down the pace of the film and you have to add an extra shot of the character reacting to the text then maybe sending their own. Unless you green screen in the text of the phone, you're stuck with whatever is on the phone when you shoot it, meaning that you can't change the context of the text message later if you want to subtly rewrite your film. Some filmmakers have experimented with taking what's on the screen and putting it next to the character in a visual effect. It appears in bubbles beside their head or their body, and then you can see the text message and the reaction in the same shot. This is an improvement in some ways, but both this and the previous method have the disadvantage that they will date the movie with whatever generation of phone that you're using. Phone OS's change almost every year, and a 10-year-old iPhone graphics really tell us where the film is taking place, for better or worse. The problem gets even harder for science fiction when we attempt to predict the future. Not only do we need to spend a lot of time and effort creating a future phone operating system, but you then run the risk of having your predictions become increasingly ridiculous as time catches up with the period of your story. A better way, famously used in BBC's Sherlock TV show that has since become sort of a new standard, is to do away with the graphics and just display the message on the screen in plain, unfiltered, simple text. This has the advantage of the previous methods in that it's phone agnostic. It works just as well for an early flip phone as it does for a futuristic phone. This method does, however, take careful planning because you need to frame and light your shot so there's sufficient negative space for the white text to appear next to your character and still be readable. This means your cinematographer has to be in on your plans before you start the shoot. A big disadvantage of all of these methods is that when the film is dubbed or subtitled into another language, the text will have to be displayed in the native language over the top of whatever you've used, and that creates a big messy frame. Considering this, why not just insert a subtitle for the text message, much as you would if another character were speaking? It isn't exactly high production quality, but it doesn't age, it allows you to see the character's reaction, and it can be changed into any language the film is dubbed into. That was our look at text messages on the screen. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.